Marvelous 103 FM with crew Fon at Thai Time. Good morning. สวัสดีค่ะ How are you? I'm fine. What are we going to learn? Still about slangs and then that you can use, you know, like a daily life. Yeah. Yes, it's about um, what did you say? Put like, a lie. What did you say? Mm, we would say murky. That's not even an expression. That's a long one. m u r k y m u r k y Put a r i n a m u r k y Put a r i n a Or put wa a r i n a Gosh. m u r k y Put wa a l i v e crap. Yes. m u r k y Put wa a l i v e crap. Yes. What did you say? Yeah. yeah. What did you say again? m u r k y Put a r i m u r k y Put wa a l i v e crap. Very good. Mm, let's see if we can remember that one tomorrow. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members, and you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Gents, buy three months get one free, six months get two free, twelve months get three free, and for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now, from 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness, no excuses. Today we are down here at Patia Park. It's a great day out for the whole family. There's lots to see and do here. Starting off with the water park. It's a fantastic water park, especially for the kids. There's slides and everything. Then you can move on to the Patia Park Tower. You can go up there to the observation deck. You can see a beautiful 360-degree view of Patia Bay. You can also go up to the revolving restaurant. You can eat your dinner, and the restaurant is actually revolving around, so you get to see all the ama amazing views. There's lots more to see and do here, including the funny park. They have some exciting rides for the kids. It's just a brilliant place to come for a day out. So come on, let's check it out: Patia Park Tower and Water Park.
MPs and senators from nearly 20 political parties overwhelmingly voted for General Prayut to become the Prime Minister of Thailand late on Wednesday night. The 29th Prime Minister of Thailand, Prayut, will head a coalition government after a vote by MPs and senators saw him gain 500 votes against his closest rivals 244. An army sergeant first class who gave his life to save that of a cadet during a grenade training class this week has been honoured as a hero by the military. The 32-year-old grabbed a grenade as the cadet appeared to be frozen with fear, having pulled the pin. As the army gave their comrade full military honours, he was also posthumously promoted to Lieutenant Colonel, which has a positive effect on his family's pension for the future. The latest dengue fever outbreak in Thailand is reported to be the worst in five years, this according to the Disease Control Centre. They report over 22,000 patients nationwide so far this year and 30 deaths. The mosquito-borne disease isn't picky. It affects mostly people in the northern regions, but also in our own home area. And we're all advised to look out for stagnant water around our homes, such as puddles or even pots and bowls, all ideal breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, a ladyboy who was admitted relieving a British tourist of 20,000 baht by stealing his wallet in the early hours on Walking Street has been held in jail after being caught yesterday. She claims that she'd already spent the money, so there's not much chance of a refund, only the warning not to carry large amounts when intoxicated. Pattaya's tourist police arrested two daft Americans yesterday, this after they were identified as those who spray-painted graffiti all over buildings and vehicles in Bangkok earlier in the week. Not children, but obviously one cent short of the dollar. The 28-year-old man, along with his 24-year-old female friend, face fines and possibly jail before being deported and blacklisted. They've confessed and they used the excuse that they were drunk. The smile was definitely wiped off their faces when the maximum penalties were outlined for them. As Fresh Digital launches its brand new website this week, the website and SEO company that operates globally, but is based in John TM, is offering all customers a 20% discount on their services, just for mentioning Fabulous 103 when you contact them. We use them for our new website and we recommend them highly. Freshdigital.co.th 20% off deep cleaning of mattresses, 15% discount from three top-of-the-range restaurants in the city, 20% off a bungee jump and a deal on Mexican food. Just some of the savings you can find today at alwayspatia.com. Fresh every day you'll find the latest news, TV, radio, what's on and more. Always at alwayspatia.com. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 33, dropping down to 30, and the guarantee of rain at some time. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand, and of course Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alistair Ross at BBC Sport and the former Liverpool winger John Barnes says his old side don't need to be too busy in the transfer market. Liverpool beat Spurs 2-0 to win the Champions League on Saturday. They came very close to winning the Premier League title as well last season and Barnes believes the squad is already well balanced. If you look at our midfield, for example, and people are talking about the fact that we may lack creativity. In lacking creativity, we have won the Champions League and finished second in the league with the second most amount of points in history. <laughs> so, so when you're talking about where do we need to improve, we've got two new players coming in in terms of Oxley Chamberlain and Joe Gomez who are injured. So I don't think we need to buy anybody else. What we need to do is we have to keep the same intensity and determination and spirit and togetherness. That's all we need. Southampton midfielder Stuart Armstrong says he can't wait to see Liverpool defender Andy Robertson on international duty this week. After Robertson won the Champions League, the pair play together for Scotland with Robertson captaining his country. Mr Big Time, yeah. I'm expecting him to walk through the hotel with his, uh, with his winner medal around his neck. If I were him, I'd be doing the exact same thing. So, listen, we're all very proud of him and, uh, and joking aside, he's, he's, a, he's achieved something so incredible that um, he'll be a Champions League winner forever. So, well done to him and we're all looking forward to seeing him. 
Meanwhile, the Tottenham defender Kieran Trippier says his future lies in the hands of the club. He's had a disappointing season and has been heavily linked with a possible move to Napoli. It's thought Spurs would be willing to let Trippier leave. And the funeral of the former Arsenal winger Jose Antonio Reyes has been held in his hometown near Seville. He died in a car crash aged 35 on Saturday while a relative was also killed. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Eleven thirty-eight. Oh, by the <laughs> way, Megla, thank you for uh, ruining my diet. <laughs> yeah, donuts, <laughs> lovely. They were nice though. But thank you very much. You're it's, very welcome. Like, obviously, after something crawling because she cheated yesterday. <laughs> <in university. Yes. laughs> Yeah, yeah, I won't di- bring you any donuts again. Two donuts for a point. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Morning. Are you ready to play? Yes. Yes. <coughs> got a good password today. It's going to put her right See? off. Password? Uh, sorry, buzzer. <laughs> Right, 11.38, let's play today's Universally Challenged. Oh, I know what it's going to be. Maggie. What? <laughs> I know what it's going to be. <laughs> Crunchy back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <gasps> what? I heard that. Oh, his computer's doing my absolute head in today. All sorts of dramas and carrying on with the computer. <laughs> right, start again. Sorry, go on. What's happening? Um, it's all gone quiet. Did you hear that? What? Talk, talk amongst <laughs> yourselves. Talk amongst. Talk amongst yourselves while I uh, try and fix the computer. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, oh my buzzer. Um, my buzzer will be donuts. Donuts. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, my buzzer will be crusty. <laughs> what? <laughs> crusty the clown from The Simpsons. <laughs> right. Okay. So today's universally challenged. Your clue, Denny, is... My clue? Your buzzer... Crusty. Crusty, and yours is... Donuts. Donuts. Crusty donuts. It's <laughs> currently 1-0 to Maggie. <gasps> it's not, it's 2-0. OK. Oh. Are you ready for today's clue? Dead easy, you should get this now. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Are you ready? Yeah. Abracadabra. Crusty. Yes. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sugar. Uh, I was gonna say. Ah, uh, oh. donuts. Go on. Oh, no, I was gonna say wizard. Okay, donuts. Wait, no. Is it magic? <laughs> what? What's going on? Who's going here? <laughs> you said wizard. <laughs> yeah, and you so said I magic. I said donuts. You magic. said magic. Right. Um, the computer's not working, so the answer is magic. magic. Hey, well done, Magic. Three nil. You got no chance of winning. Never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, Never heard do. of them. Who are they? Oh, Denny, stop listening to the radio. I I'll do. listen to the chart. <laughs> but you don't tell what every song is. I yeah do, and it's you know stop listening to your old twelve inch vinyls. I love them. <laughs> Get with the time. <laughs> Um, right, OK, talk amongst yourselves while we play this. Uh, OK. Uh, it's 3-0 it's now to Megan. Well done, you've won today. I've won the week. Yeah, yes, can't won, win. yeah, I can't win now. Hey, it could be a whitewash. Yeah, it could, <gasps> could be. Oh, could no. Be. Get that mankini back out. No, I don't want to win This time that. with no clothes underneath. No, I can't do that. <laughs> 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 we should have a... Uh, tomorrow's poll should be, if it's a whitewash, should Denny wear the mankini? No. With nothing on the... I can't. You, you, you're going on, you know, you, you're bragging every day about how much weight you've lost. So. Yeah, but I ain't lost that much. <laughs> I, I, I've He's lost... not lost that much to look good in a mankini Absolutely. naked, I'd trust me. I need to lose another 50 kilos, I reckon. <laughs> uh, well done, Maggie. You Thank are you. the winner today.
Coming up next, Patty and Mail taking you on a road trip. Isn't it time that you escaped to the island of Koh Chang and relax at a brand new resort that promises luxury along with the best of island life? The Elysian Pearl is a family owned resort offering excellent and affordable accommodation with sea views and easy access to the ferry, but not in a crowded tourist area. Jungle, hillsides and waterfalls, elephants and more, all within easy reach. We can arrange transport from the ferry or you can drive to us and park. Google Elysian Pearl Ko Chang for details. Elysian Pearl Resort, Ko Chang's newest, brightest secret, is out now. Right there, Jeff Carter here, and uh, I'm looking a bit bog eyed, aren't I? That's because it's only half past six, 6 30 a.m., and today I decided to come up to Pratamnak, that's in between Pattaya and John TM, and I've come up to Buddha Hill. This sign here says, Wat Pra Yai, that means temple, the largest Buddha image of Chomburi. Okay. So, and that's up there. I'm sure you can see him from here. There you go. Well, it looks like I've got to climb all these stairs now. Is that the stairway to heaven? I don't know. Let's go. There's a lot to climb, so let's make a move. And there he is. The big Buddha. Hey, it's good up here, you know, if you get up early, because if you come later on, there'll be lots of people here, and it's better for taking photographs and videos and things. There's only me and these three dogs up here at the moment. Great, isn't it? And if you come over this side, you can see all over John TM and the beach. Look at that. Fantastic. So there we have the little tour at the top of Pratamnat Buddha Hill. That was good, wasn't it? I'm going to go back down now. I'm going to get a little drink and then uh, make my way back. Hope you enjoyed this little movie. If you want to get here, you just jump in a bat bus or um, ask for a taxi driver to bring you up here. But it's all good stuff. And uh, I think it's best to get here early in the morning or at sunset. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Bye bye. <laughs>